when we were doing plays in the East Village, at, and we were performing at a place called the Limbo Lounge, and we, every three weeks we'd do a different show, and we had no money for advertising, so I would just do a curtain speech, and I would just invent titles just off the top of my head, never with the intention that we'd actually do the play. So uh, one night I said, and then our next play is going to be Gidget Goes Psychotic. Got a big laugh. So I just started using that just as a punchline. And so uh, finally, Ken Elliott, who was directing and producing all these shows, said, you know, we've been promoting this play for years. We really should do it. Well, we, we did the show at the Limbo Lounge and as a late show, because we were doing Vampire Lesbians off Broadway, and then we'd all get in a van and then do a late show of Get Your Psychotic, which is what you do when you're very young and silly. Uh, anyway, the audience just flipped over it. So we decided to move that one off Broadway as well. But this time we thought, you know, it's really a, a, a good play in itself. And, and so we thought, let's give it its, its own original title. And we came up with Psycho Beach Party. All these kind of movie spoof genre plays that I wrote actually are a bit about more than, than just you know, Hooray for Hollywood. The character of, of Chicklet, this young girl with her split personalities, it could be seen as a, in a way as a metaphor for what we kind of all go through when, particularly when we're, when we're teenagers and we feel like we're a different person with everybody around us, our family, our friends, our, our teachers. And so, you know, in its outrageous way, Psycho Beach Party is about that.